Welcome or welcome back to Red Static Reacts. I'm Jeremy. I'm Max. And today we are watching the season two finale of Breaking Bad. Uh, we're coming off possibly the most depressing episode in the show. We lost Jane, and it's going to be interesting to see how Walt covers for it, you know? Because it's not like he can tell him exactly what happened. No. And, uh, you know, you can only imagine what that is going to do to Jane's dad. He seems kind of like um, a bizarro version of uh, Jesse's parents, you know, where they, it might be harsh to say that they gave up on him because we don't know how much effort they put in prior to this series. Yeah. But Je uh, Jane's dad was still clearly doing everything he could. and uh, But I guess we'll see how the season ends. Yeah, yeah. Um, before that, I just wanted to say we hit 500 subscribers recently, which Yay. is just phenomenal. Awesome. So thank all of you yeah, very, very much. We we really, really appreciated it. Uh, it's it's kind of you know it's only been about two months really since, since we started Breaking Bad, December first. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, it was December first, uh, and it's just gone up and up and up. And it, it's just, you know. And that's because of all of you. Yeah. So thank you all for the support. Uh, we appreciate it. And uh, we hope you stick around with us. One other thing I wanted to mention uh, is the effort that Jeremy has put into uh, Red Static Reacts. Uh, Jeremy is the man behind the camera. He's the one that does the editing. He's the one that... Uh, created the Red Channel uh, homepage and the logo, uh, the intro, all of it. That's that's Jeremy, that's this guy. Yeah, I, I can't say enough about how proud I am and how impressed I am of what he's accomplished here. Anything that you see is because of this guy right here. So Jeremy, thank you very much. Thank you, I appreciate it. Yeah, very welcome, very well deserved. All right. Now, on with the show. All right. Let's get into it. Okay. So we're at Wells' house again here. There's the eyeball. <laughs> uh, he gets a lot of air time. with the fires in the background, I wonder. The helicopters? I don't know. This is hard. S slow down. Slow, slow down. All right. Now what happened? Yeah, he's got to play dumb. Everything is going to be okay. I promise. No, no. Th listen, calm down. Just sit tight. I know who to call. Okay. Saul. So, yeah, that's the only person I could think of. Oh, boy. Oh, that's not Saul. Who we got here? Saul Goodman sent me. Come on, inside. This seems like it might be a cleanup, man. I hate this. Well, you can tell this is not the first time he's done this. You can't even imagine what's going through Jesse's head right now. I don't think he's got anything else on his mind about any of the drugs around here or anything. It's just, she's gone. Any other drugs in the house? 
Think hard. Your freedom depends on it. Here's your story. You woke up, you found her, that's all you know. Say it. Say it, please. I woke up, I found her, that's all I know. <laughs> Say it. I woke up, I found her, that's all I know. I woke up, I found her, that's all I know. Again. I woke up, I found her, that's all I know. Again. Again. I woke up, I found her, that's all I know. I woke up, I found her, that's all I know. Once you call it in, the people who show up will be with the Office of Medical Investigations. Police officers may arrive, they may not. Depends on how busy a morning they're having. Typically, ODs are not a high-priority call. There's nothing here to incriminate you, so I'd be amazed if you got placed under arrest. However, if you do, you say nothing. You tell them you just want your lawyer. Then you call Saul Goodman. He's not missing much of anything, is he? No. And it may seem kind of cold the way he's handling it, but this is what he does, you know? Hey, tough. You're in the home stretch. Yeah, I'm sure he doesn't feel that way right now. No. No. As far as he's concerned, his life is over. You know, he just found somebody that made him happy, you know? We've seen all the bullshit that he went through before all this, and now that person's gone. Yeah. Junior! Flynn. What? Flynn. Flynn! <laughs> it, it pains him to say that, doesn't it? Yeah. I don't know where the Flynn thing came from. I know it's like a nickname he's, he's got for himself, but... I don't know if it's from something, and I just missed it. 20, 26 people, Virginia, Mi Minnesota, Montana. It's actually right, right there in the PayPal account. It, and, and look, and look what they're saying. Hang in there, Walt. Good luck. Hang, hang in there. It, isn't this awesome? Come on, Walt. Just crack a smile, dude. Like Walt, don't you think a little thank you is in order? Yes, absolutely. Thank you, son. There you Thank go. You. This is a big... It, it sucks that it took her to say something about it for him yeah. to do that, but like... And I get where he's coming from. He wants it to be attributed to him, but you can't do that, so this is like the best option. If for no other reason than just to make your son happy. Yeah, yeah, he would, it would go a long way. Oh, gosh, here we go. I don't want to see this. I didn't want to see what I saw earlier again. Oh, my gosh. I, I couldn't watch. I'm surprised they even let him in. Sir, you may not want to be here for this. Oh, gosh. Somebody should have taken him off to the side or something. I don't know, but... Um, I just uh, woke up and uh, I found her. That's all I know. Sir, your daughter's date of birth. April, um, April 4th, 1982. And place of birth? Phoenix. Oh, that's why it was called Phoenix, the last episode. Okay. Apology, girl. Now, do you need a card? Will you both be coming? <laughs> I don't think so. I'm surprised that he hasn't lashed out at Jesse. And he still may. I think all the fight just went out of him. I can understand that. He's lost. He's lost. Yeah. He keeps the burner phone in the toilet. He's <laughs> he's got the worst places like to keep his phone. Like the ceiling at school, the <laughs> toilet. Yeah. I, I like, so what if something goes wrong with the toilet and Skylar checks the? Our friend says he thinks everything went well. I don't know how he's wow. getting away with making these calls in the house. Yeah, I mean, I don't you know. know, I could just see Skylar walking by and hearing him mumble in there. The doctor's saying this operation has a real chance of helping him. 
Of course, they're also saying they want to be paid in private islands. So dig deep. Biggest donation? Get a six pack of my very own Schrader Brow. Home brewed silky perfection. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's really cool that Hank's doing that. I know, and, and it's just it's terrible. He doesn't know. Yeah. Now, how is it that the purest, most professional grade of meth we've ever come across is being slung by the likes of that? James Edward Killed Kelly. Yeah. APD thinks this is our mastermind. You believe that? I got a bridge to sell you. But outside, we got reports of the blue stuff making the scene here in Texas, Arizona, Colorado, Nevada. In fact, everywhere but here. Now, I say Heisenberg's still out there. I say he's going regional. Oh, he's still right here in town. He knows what he's doing, man. Yes. If he was just a little bit more stupid, Walt would have nothing to worry about. Where is he? All right, listen. No, no, I don't care. You have your guy. I, Saul, just shut Saul. Saul, shut up and give me the address. I don't recommend it. APD's been known to sit on this place, keep an eye on the comings and goings. Are they here now? Well, I don't see any sign, but that's the point. Police could be the least of it. You could just get mugged or shot. How about you go on home, Walter? Let me handle this. This is where Jesse's hold up right now? I guess so. That's what I was going to ask you. I, is this, you know, where Jesse's hanging out? Who's that zombie? These places like this just make me so uncomfortable. Jesse, Jesse, look at me, son. Wake up. He just wanted to forget, huh? Just, no, 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 no. Jesse, 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 it's me. It's me, it's Walt. It's Walt. Jesse. Yeah. Come on, let's get out of here. I just feel awful for him. Yeah. Put your arms around me. Come on. You're gonna stand up, and we're gonna we're gonna walk out of here, okay? We're gonna take you someplace nice and safe. That's it. That's it. Now let's go. Come on. Here we go. Is he crying? He's crying. Oh. Uh. <laughs> oh, this is just. I killed her. What? I killed her and it was me. I got her back up. No, Jesse, look at me. Look at me. You didn't kill anybody. I loved her. No, this is this is hard. I loved her more than anything. <laughs> Walt has to be feeling all kinds of terrible right now. He should. And I'll say it again, Aaron Paul is an incredible actor. I haven't given much thought to the programs, to be honest. I guess they should be... Uh... I don't know, just, just use your best judgment. There's no yellow dress here. It's all, it's all black and gray. Well, that was Jane, you know, black and gray. What about blue? Blue's better than black, right? It's nice. It's nice. And that's so jarring going from him picking out funeral clothes for his daughter and here he is changing his daughter. Yeah. Yes! Here we go. There we go. 
I hope that Walt doesn't blow up about uh, at Walt Jr. and at Skyler about this. Would you mind turning that thing down or off? Junior, hey, the dinging. Just turn down the volume. Th that, it, it's money. Just please do it. The noise is disturbing the baby. Mm. Guess what? What? You were going to be in the newspaper. N no way. One of Aunt Marie's patients works at the journal, and when she told him about the website and all the donations, he went to his editor, and they're going to do a story about you. For real? Yep. They're coming to interview you with a photo and everything. Awesome. <laughs> Don't blow this, Walt. And if Walt was a good person, he would be excited for his son, even with all the bullshit behind it that he's not telling them. Exactly. Gentlemen, this is Supervising Agent Hank Schrader. Agent Schrader, I'd like you to meet Andrew Kaufman of the Adobe Hotel. Hey, Kai, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Paul Conterna of Conterna Real Estate. Hey, it's a pleasure. Good to meet you. Huh? And Gustavo Fring of Los Pollos Hermanos. <laughs> oh. Hi, Gus. Gotta tell you, you guys make some killer chicken. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much. That's not all. Is this one of your agents? Oh, uh, yeah, no, no, that's... It's my brother-in-law. Yeah, he's got a health issue. <laughs> oh, oh I'm, I'm very sorry. What, what sort of health issue? Lung cancer. Oh, that, that's a rough one. Oh, hey, hey you, you, don't, you don't have to do that. Please, please. I, I'm, I'm happy to do it. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Well, he pretty much knows everything he needs to know. Gosh almighty. Just so you know. I won't be back for a while. Gonna have my surgery on Friday. Lingering on things doesn't help, believe me. Just try and focus on getting back. That doesn't help either at this point. <laughs> no, not this early. What you said in the desert, I get it. I deserve whatever happens. He really felt for Jane. I know why he won't let her die, but Gosh dang it, he he has destroyed Jesse. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you could make the argument that it was bound to happen eventually, but that still doesn't take accountability away from Walt. We called you about 50 times. Marie, I, I thought we were just talking about a newspaper story. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, but I thought, you know, if it's good enough for the journal, then why not TV? Of course. Judging from the things you and other folks have written about him, your dad must be quite a guy. Yeah, he is. He, he's the best. You don't want to lose him, do you, Walter? N none of us do. We love him. Would you say he's your hero? Oh, yeah. Y yes, ma'am. Totally. My, my dad is my hero. That's what you wanted to hear, wasn't it, Walt? We're almost ready. I'll be taking you in in just a minute. Okay, thank you. Do you think Walt is kind of wishing at some point that something would go wrong and that he would just die? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what this stuff is, but it's pretty great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. I got it. Oh. <laughs> Where's your phone? Which one? Which one? <laughs> Okay, he can get out of that. I was on drugs. I didn't know what I was saying. If she no. quizzes, if she quizzes him about this later, they've already had such a huge blowout about this, and now he just cops to having a second phone. He's, that's the story that Walt's going to go with. I think though. How old is that baby now, and when do I finally get to meet her? No, I was actually thinking of bringing her. To Growing a beard, huh? A goatee, at least. Wearing the pinkest sweater known to man. And um, can he go back to work or? I'd give him a few more weeks. Um, but he can be on his own. I mean, just... Oh, I know why she's saying that. No, that's good news for you, huh? <laughs> One less baby in the house. Don, hey, you Stu. Hey, uh, welcome back. Thanks. Already, huh? For a lot of people, just getting back in the saddle Getting their mind off what happened is the best thing. After a certain point, time off doesn't help. So. I could agree with that, yeah. 
Truth or consequences, altimeter 299 or 8. He's a flight control? Okay. I'm surprised that they're letting him do this so soon after. I'm going to hang him Marie's for the weekend. Since when? I'm taking the baby with me. Marie will pick up Walter Jr. from school. You'll have the house to yourself for two days. I want you to pack your things and leave. Wow. I want you gone by Monday morning. I want... I want you gone. Okay, can you at least tell me why? Right before your surgery, I asked if you had packed your cell phone, and you said, which one? Then it got me thinking again about all the strange behavior, your fugue state. An affair? I'm having an affair. Is that what you think? That's what I was thinking, yeah, for the last few weeks. With whom? Who am I having an affair with? Well, my guess was Gretchen Schwartz. Get me a Bible to swear on, if that's what it takes. I am not having an affair with Gretchen. Oh, I know. I know you're not. Because I asked her. She was ducking my calls for weeks. So, I finally left a message. What exactly is going on between you and my husband? I thought that'd get her attention, and it did. So she called me back. Gretchen and Elliot didn't give you a dime. Well, cat's out of the bag. But then, I called your mother. Ah, uh, I was wondering when that was gonna, if that was gonna come up. She didn't even know that you have cancer. Well, Walt? Yeah, I mean, how do you talk your way out of that? If I tell you the truth, Will you stay? Whatever it is, I'm afraid to know. She's right about that. And I don't think that he would tell her everything. Not about all the dead bodies and everything. I, well, maybe not maybe, that. Maybe but about he, the meth, I think he might tell her he, that. He would have to, I mean, to explain, what could he even say at this point? Yeah. I, he would have to tell some part of the truth. To explain all that money. Wayfair 515, Albuquerque Center, Roger, climb and maintain 13000 He should not be there. No, he should not. Jane, Mike, 21, turn heading. Disregard. Contact Albuquerque Center, 134.6. Wayfair 515, descend to 10000. Juliet, Mike, 21, do you have that traffic at your 9 o'clock? Wayfair 515, do you have that traffic at Wayfair 515? Wow, Jeremy. Well, now we know what the black and white sequences were about. Yeah, the pl the the smoke plumes. You want to? Oh, oh, okay. You know, inadvertently, once again, wow. So, inadvertently, once again, Walt has cost more lives because he let Jane die. It affected her father as it did, and in turn, he caused two planes to collide. The body count just keeps rising every time Walt turns around. He, anything he's involved with seems to equate to death. I didn't want to uh, say it before the episode started because it wouldn't have made any sense and it would have been a spoiler, but um, the episodes with the intros that were like the black and white yes all have names that go together so like there's four of them right so the first okay. one was 747 the second one was called Down the third one was called Over and the fourth one was called ABQ was they, so they linked together 747 Down Over ABQ that's good yeah which I, I didn't I, I wouldn't have put 
I still wouldn't have put that together had you not said it. Well, I didn't put it together myself either. I had to read that years after the fact, but it's right. still a really cool piece of trivia. Well, so I, I don't think that Jane's dad will be going back to being a flight controller. <laughs> That's, no, that, I think that's it's pretty usually, safe to say. Uh, that's when a, something like that happens, you're out. They should have in place psychiatric evaluation of an employee who's gone through trauma mm -hmm. before they ever get in that chair. Yeah, I feel bad for Jane's dad. I feel bad for Jane. I feel bad for Jane's dad. I feel bad for Jesse. It went about as horribly as it possibly could have. I mean, I don't know how many people a fully loaded... 747 holds let alone two of them a lot of people are dead now and it is a little bit walt's fault i don't know if walt's ever going to know or make that connection he may not that may not ever be a thing but season two is over yeah and that was a, a hell of a finale yeah i i i absolutely love season two and i'm really excited for you to get to season three i'm ready yeah so um, thank all of you again for sticking with us. Yes, thank you all very much. And we look forward to watching seasons three, four, and five, and El Camino, and Better Call Saul, and whatever the hell else that we decide to watch. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, thank you all very much. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, we will see you in season three. All right. Goodbye.